driving with my foot. Well, why are you driving with your foot? Because I'm trying to film. <laughs> All right, here's one of the lowest bridges on this here river. Uh, I need to get under the middle, pay more attention, but it is 52 feet at normal pull. And kind of tell from the water line over here that we're down probably two feet. So I'm trying to steer with my foot. And I'd probably be better off steering with a uh, tiller with my foot because I keep going the wrong direction. I think we'll be fine. Hard to tell, but there's all kinds of rope out there. There is at least four or five feet. Three or four feet? Yeah, we're good. Whitman Lock. Um, I had the wind pushing us pretty good coming in here and then I untied the wrong end of this first line. That was adventurous but no big deal. Like I've said before, tying up the port, we're good. So uh, if all goes well, if all goes perfectly, we'll have six locks today. Get through that and then have a decent anchorage. Uh, otherwise we're just going to drop the hook in the channel, which or right on the side of the channel with Tom Bigby, which I do not like. One more, uh, what's this one? Wilkin? No. Wit Wilkins? Yeah. <laughs> Lose track. Number five of six today. Um, these have been about 30. This is probably this one and the last one. It's pretty, a pretty view over the top. Um, long, straight stretch. Let's see if I can get it before she starts dropping it. You can see way down there. That's kind of nice. It's a long straightaway, and then we've got three bridges, one more lock, and then, uh, then we drop anchor for the night. Well, they all, they all kind of look the same. Going down. Amory Lock. Uh, you can see down river, it's exactly one mile. We have a bridge, which isn't too bad, it's 53 and change. And then somewhere past that we have a rail bridge that is 52 and I see a barge coming. So we get that to deal with. This one again kind of looks just like all the rest of them. Uh, the last one didn't have a spillway like that. It's kind of different. Uh, smaller section of river I guess. But that's that one. Last one down today. Total of six. And I'm tired. Not sure how to classify this one as bizarre or disgusting. Um, doesn't look like he's been in there very long, but I'm not going in after him. He got sucked into the hole or swam into the hole or whatever. I guess he is part of the hole now. <laughs> yeah. Not much else to do while you're, you're uh, waiting to go down and lock. So stare at the dead creatures in the wall, I guess. It doesn't get any closer than ripping shit off the top of your mast. Supposed to be 52. Uh, I no longer have a Windex, but I still have an anchor light. Of course, we have one more beam. This one looks lower than the rest of them. <sighs> Sorry, had it so damn close. Oh, great. Let's get stuck right there. Put itself in the reverse. <sighs> Grief. Of course, the drama. <sighs> it didn't hit, but it is within inches of taking the anchor light off. Hey. Broke my tab. 
There we go. That was fun. It just floats down. Beautiful sunrise this morning, though. Uh, we are maybe a hundred yards outside of the channel. We had tugs coming by all night, big ones, and it would just rock us. We had it lit up pretty well. Neat little spot here. It's beautiful, but it is just a swamp. I mean, let's take a look. Probably can't see it, but there is a cool cabin way back there. Zoom in. There you go. Pretty neat. He's got a pontoon boat. I saw that. I couldn't tell what kind of boat it was until we got a little closer. Uh, well, I thought, well, if you can get a boat in there. <laughs> yeah, pontoon boat. I mean, it's really pretty. It'd be a beautiful place to kayak or canoe through. Camping, I guess. But man, it is flat. The shoreline is literally inches above water level and just before this is the man-made part and just aft in fact down there down river is also the man-made part oh, and my fingers are starting to get really cold already there's a lot of this just big piles of dead trees more dead trees and see over there's a bunch of a bunch of garbage washed up on shore and these are old uh, fishing line floats they tie fishing lines to them and throw them out and then come back and get them there's a bunch of lilies uh, these are dead i guess it's probably cold this time of year that's it it's where we spent the night it's, it's, we run the generator for about 10 hours or probably a gallon an hour because it's a high rpm generator so about 30 bucks a night to sit on the hook but it's beautiful out here we stay plenty warm Just, 
I hit that before looking at my little paper, uh, my little cheat sheet that was given to me. So, pretty close. It, it should be about 11.30 and her car is there. So we're going to jump in her car and go grocery shopping. Provision the boat and the next stop for me will be Mobile Bay and Turner Marine where the boat's coming out of the water and getting a bottom job. Desperately needed six and a half year wait. I did a quickie bottom job on it when I bought the boat. February, so it's been almost seven years. February will be seven years. So the, the bottom paint is, is almost non existent. It's really, really slowed me down on this trip. It costs a lot more fuel. That's all right. We've made really good time. Every day has been 60, 65 miles. I would say today is going to be about 24, I believe. I think it was 21 plus it the two I didn't add in there. So 23, 24 miles, a uh, nice short day, and then probably spend the night there at the marina So she's leaving in the morning, and then I'll be on my way again. I'm going to keep these up. Had a little surprise this morning. We weren't keeping up with the charts, just our little uh, little cheat sheet that uh, somebody gave me, and they neglected to put uh, Aberdeen Lock on here. So. But we had one lock today we didn't expect. No big deal. It just popped up. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, seven yesterday or six yesterday and then one this morning. 